Hello guys, it's another Otter video. This was an amazing wildlife experience that I had last week. Just want to show you, quite incredible. Otter versus mink versus mute swan. Amazing. So just to give you a bit of background, this is Claude and Maud, and they're the dominant swan pair on this reserve. This lake is their own. Claude is always throwing off other swans. And this is an American mink. Mink are an invasive species in the United Kingdom. They escaped from fur farms in the 50s and 60s and they've spread throughout the whole of the UK since then. The water vole in the UK has almost become extinct because female mink are small enough to get into their burrows. Mink also prey on seabird populations which have really taken a hit. Mink are incredibly aggressive and feisty little animals they're often confused with otters, although they are a lot smaller. A mink is about the third of a size of an otter. A mink can grow up to about half a metre long, size of a small cat. An otter can grow up to one and a half metres long from top to tail. As our rivers have become cleaner in the last 30 and 40 years, otter numbers have improved. In the last few years, the number of mink has started to fall and it's believed these two facts are linked. Witnesses have said they've seen mink standing up to otters and the mink hasn't lasted very long. Hello guys, another amazing morning watching the otters on this beautiful lake. Perfect morning, absolutely still. Claude and Maud running around driving off other swans, but apart from that, really fantastic to see them again. Maud and her signets were looking fairly relaxed. But when I got to my normal otter spot, there was definitely activity in the water. And there was something in the reeds. It had to be an otter. Here you see the reeds moving. Then a sound I'd never heard before. As soon as she saw me, she was gone. A real close encounter. Maybe not helped by uh, the fact there was some shooting going on in the fields. I walked round to the other side of the reeds. Be just getting to the bank without me even knowing. I 
there's something there, it might, it might, it might, it just might be a fish. And it was a big fish if it was anything. I can't see any bubbles so. There was a new swan pair that had flown in and I reckoned that within a few minutes Claude wouldn't be very happy. Here they are. is going for two swans at the bottom of the lake the otter is really close so Claude has just swum within five yards of that feeding otter She seems to be more interested in watching me than being bothered about Claude. So here's Claude doing what Claude does, driving off every other swan from his lake. While all this is going on, the otters are hunting moorhen in the reeds. When I arrived here this morning, all the Canada geese were in the middle of the lake and they're now uh, hiding down at the bottom. There's some shooting going on in the fields around the back here, so they're probably a bit wary about taking off and getting shot, or uh, staying on this lake and getting uh, their legs bitten by an otter. So while Claude is driving off swans from the eastern end of the lake, Maud and the Signets have retreated onto a bank at the western end. The otters then moved across to the far side of the lake and started to move towards and look interested in the Canada geese that were all grouped at the bottom of the lake. At this point the geese decided that the risk on the water was less than the risk in the air. The end of an amazing morning. So I was back out a few days later 
The two cubs seemed to be out on the lake. There was a bit more wind, so it wasn't quite as easy to spot them. This is just before I caught them coming back and calling to mum. But they were soon back out on the water again. just brilliant to watch these two they seem to be getting better at fishing almost every dive seems to be successful just like their mum They were moving into an area a bit closer to me, which was great because as the light was improving, they were much closer and I could get better film. They just seemed to be really enjoying themselves.
eventually the cubs disappeared and it was the mother otter that was back on the lake. But rather than fishing, she seemed to be really interested in either me or something around me. And also a couple of cygnets, not clawed and moored cygnets, but a couple of interloper cygnets had flown down onto the lake. One of our mature cygnets on this lake last year was predated. We weren't sure if it was a fox, it could have been a mink, or it could have been an otter. She became really transfixed on these cygnets, not fishing, not diving, just laying on the top of the water, watching. Is this a top predator assessing a different type of prey? I was trying to keep hidden. It really felt like something was going to happen. There was something moving down towards my left, but I couldn't see what it was. The otter seemed to be absolutely interested in that as well as me. In the next clip, you can clearly hear the distress calls of the two lone signets. But she still seems to be clearly sensing something that's around me. But as I watch, Claude, our mute swan, dominant male, moves into attack mode and our mother otter changes focus from around me to them. She seems to be focusing on the corner of the lake where one of the two lone signets had become trapped. Suddenly, everything seemed to happen at once. From below my feet, this swam out. It's a mink. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen one before. And it was swimming exactly the same place that the otter had been 30 seconds before. I wondered if that's what the otter had sensed near my feet. At the same time, the lone signet is trapped in the corner. You can see how close the otter is because you can see the bubbles just out in front of it. Signet's in big trouble, he's got an otter right in front of it 
and Claude approaching at speed. The otter is so close, but here come Claude and Maud. They're chasing the second signet towards its sibling in the corner, but also straight towards the otter. Just look how close it is. I can't see how these two are going to get away. Wow, but what happened to the otter? Well, it just looks like she's dived, kept her head well down. So, looks like they will live for another day. But it was so exciting to see my first ever mink. What an amazing experience that was.